All right, this is my cloud. One terabyte from Western Digital. Uh, I bought it on sale for uh, 70 bucks. And let's see what it comes with. USB 3.0. Ethernet and the power. Okay. This is Samsung Smart TV. It does see the um, WD. It sees everything. But it has to be on the share public. Um, let's see how good they stream. Yeah, they stream pretty good. Okay, so this is the uh, R box the Android box for the TV downstairs that doesn't have um, smart TV alright so this one has the uh, Android so we download the WDC uh, my cloud turn it on Not bad at all. It does come out. Alright, this is the Android pad. Good job. Alright, this is my LG Android phone. So with Android phone um, and tablet, they will ask if you want to auto backup photo and video. That's really nice. Create new folder. Backup now. This is the iPhone 6. Working very nicely. Alright, so this is the iPad Mini 2. Very nice. Alright, this is the uh, iPod Touch 5. Right away. And let's see. So iPod 5 does work. let's see if I hook this up right this one go to the hub of the router and the laptop also go to the hub of the, the router there all right so we can see this the green one is on right now wd.com Slash setup slash WD my cloud. All right. Download 
software. Ah, uh, you're dead. Let's open it up. Yes, I did. Next. So add more user. So So a new version of iCloud is my cloud is available. Download it now. Okay. So now I found it. So let's connect it. Connect. bring the uh, USB data in here so put all the uh, whole movies and then see what happened okay so let's start okay so this is my uh, external hard drive USB 3.0 so according to this optimum data migration I connected to my laptop USB 3.0. Okay, and let's see if we can uh, migrate so all of these. So I data have my WDC two terabyte here of data, and, and while we're setting it up, it said add content and stuff. So let's start doing that. Okay. So let's do share video, right? So now let's see if we do the cloud access, okay? Let's add user first. So let's do family. Only. Okay, so I plugged in my um, USB external hard drive, 2 gig, and it does see it here too. Oh, so, access. I don't know why we got the code for user. All right, we can add more users in here, but one for me and one for the family, right? And with the settings. Change the device name. Mm -hmm. 
So if you want to create a share folder, and we can only create a share folder to the original one terabyte, not the external one. And we're going to save it. All right. It's automatically a public access, but you can turn it off. And then we can assign the user for it. So for me, I got full access. For my family, read only. Okay, so now we have a test. And we, we don't want to use the test anymore. We can just delete it. It was just a test. So, okay. No more sharing. My time machine, and my time machine is only me can use it, nobody else. Okay. Okay, so to set up the uh, share, the, the UDC 2 terabyte, you can make the user's access. For instance, turn the public access off so nobody can just see it. Our user, me, I can have full access. For my family, can only read only. Okay, so they can't mess around with it. The problem with the public is that if you put files into the public, anybody can see, right? So uh, don't put all your good stuff, uh, important stuff on the public because people can see that. So let's look at the network, okay? So we got the IP address here. So let's use static. Okay, for those who want to use the SSH to turn it on. So what we need to do is to go to settings and we go to network. Now by default the SSH will be turned off so you gotta turn it on. That's the first thing you need to do. The password is welcome but with the O uh, with the zero instead of the O. So to access the SSH, uh, we need to use a terminal. Okay, so we need to go to shell, select the remote connection, and we type in the uh, IP address. And then the password will come up. We have to type in uh, welcome with the zero. And the first thing we need to do is to change the password. So, change the password. When it's done, it will say successfully. Okay.